Alright guys, so I got some tractors loaded on the trailer here to go take the scrap. Took me a while to get them on there where I like them, so let's get that folded up out of the way. There you go. But uh, obviously an Oliver of some sort, and then that one's international, and I'm going to say they're both international. Honestly, there's no tin, no nothing left, and I don't really don't know what they are. They're just big and heavy. I got some dirt in them. But I need to run down to my dump trailer and throw off all this loose stuff on the top of this one. This one's full. Knock some dirt off and uh, strap her down and hit the road. So, all right, guys. So, welcome back to the channel. So, we're just getting on the road here now. You just saw me load that uh, load of scrap. Like I said, I think that's an Oliver, and then the other two really. I would say they're international, but I really honestly couldn't tell you. There's not much left of them, but, but they are big, heavy things, so. Well, I just figured I'd drive and, and talk at you, talk with you. So, for the next little bit, there's really not going to be much tractor pulling going on, because it's still the first, uh, first couple days of January here, so. And, and uh, or the beginning of tractor pulling really doesn't start until end of May, usually. That's when the beginning of tractor pulling starts. So, that'll be a little bit, but I've got a lot of tractors I want to work on. And I'm going to, you know, obviously get them in videos. i got a lot of scrap to haul yet, so I want to get that in videos. And if you guys got any video ideas that you want to put out there that you'd like to see, I might be able to make it happen if... Just put it in the comments. You know, you just, I just don't know. I'm just doing stuff that I do daily. And, uh, hell, you might want to see something different. If you want to see more digging with the excavator. If you want to see more of our uh, firewood and that type of stuff. You know, moving brush with the John Deere, with the grapple and the excavator, the deucing. With the... You know, grapple on, just moving brush, cutting trees down, doing that type of stuff. You want to see more tractor stuff with scrapping tractors, working on tractors, pulling tractors, whatever you want to want to see. It really doesn't matter to me. It's all it's all stuff that we do daily. I just always like to make sure we're going down this part of the road here first a little bit. The straps don't loosen up here. It's bumpy enough. They don't loosen up. So, I, I don't think I'm all that heavy. I, the trailer's a 14,000 pound trailer, so I can put, you know, just about 10 on it. Just, just about. So, and I don't even think I got that. I would say those chunks a piece were, I, I'd be amazed if they were 3,000 pounds a piece. Really. So, you're figuring maybe 9,000 maybe I, I don't even think it'll be that much though but this truck does awesome with I mean just for me in the gas 6.2 and then the rear gear is 373's so it's not a super low geared work truck but it's low geared enough it's not the what, what else could they be 355's I think were the, the taller gear and I, I can't say you'd want 355's because this truck's geared pretty good for a majority of the stuff the only time you notice it's 
not a 430 rear gear truck is when, say, you're at a tractor. Anyways, so you're at a tractor pull, and say, you know, the truck sits there all day. You, load, you unload the tractors, pull them, whatever, and you reload them. You know, you're sitting in, say, like a grass, somebody's field, whatever. It, almost, I could use to shift it in the four-wheel drive low to get her to move after sitting there all day. You really have to give her gas. She acts like a 373 gear truck then. But otherwise, it does really good of when you're just driving it and working it. You're taking off from you know, stop signs like that uphill. It just goes. It really doesn't have much problem. So, And uh, the 6.2, I think this motor is making 385 according to Ford. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, 385 horse. I couldn't even tell you what the pound feet of torque is. I want to say it's somewhere around 400. Nothing special, but it's it does really good because it's got the the six speed behind it. I don't know what the model of the six speed is, but this is the last. Being this truck being a 22 is the last year that Ford offered the six speed behind in, in the three quarter ton trucks. So, because they went away from that, and they now they're in the six eight with the ten speed behind that, the six eight, the seven three, and the six seven power stroke. But this truck it shifts perfect. But when I have the trailer on with any load on it, I can downshift it here so the highest it can go is fifth gear, and that works out really well. Because you don't when it goes into sixth, it constantly has to come back out of six all the time so it's easier just to hold it in fifth and just let her turn a touch higher rpms and i got oh geez i already got over eighteen thousand on this truck so and i haven't done anything besides oil changes and rotate the tires well i think i'm gonna flip you around you've heard me jab jab it long enough about nothing so i'm gonna flip you around so you can watch out the front window a little bit and I'll, I'll show you guys taking when they take this stuff off it's kind of entertaining
all right guys so i did a little short clip there of them unloading it and uh that's a i think a 336 cat excavator with a shearing head on it so it can crush pretty much anything the guy says if they can grab it it'll crush it so it works out pretty well it's that's not as easy on low because it's got solid pinch points. It doesn't flop like the grapple would. So sometimes he has to really be careful as he's grabbing the stuff. And the, the cast housings, you know, cast is strong, but it's brittle. And that shear, you know, it's designed to just break that. So he has to be pretty careful as he's squeezing it to grab it off the trailer to not just break it on the trailer. But he does really well at it. So, well... That's about it for today's video. I just wanted to say thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this uh, scrapping tractor content, yeah, I guess. Yeah, scrapping tractors. And it goes a little bumpy. Uh, just drop it in the comments. If any other videos you want to see, drop them in the comments. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe to this video, and have a good one, guys.